It means the prevailing style or fashion at a particular time. And some things that are always in style are luxury, performance, and fun. And Prince Craft's top of the line Vogue pontoon series has them in spades. This is the 2021 Vogue 25 RL. The 25 is the second largest in the Vogue line, which ranges from 23 to 27 feet. Its overall length is actually closer to 26 feet at 25 feet 11 inches with an 8 foot 6 inch beam and a dry weight of 3,224 pounds with the performance configuration like our test model, which makes it faster, more powerful, and a dream to drive. It's a great size for a pontoon. Not too heavy to tow with a half ton, but big enough to fit up to 13 people in amazing comfort. On a top of the line pontoon boat, you're expecting a certain amount of luxury, and Princecraft has been delivering on that since the Vogue line was introduced almost a decade ago. The raised logos, the ultra plush upholstery, the LED accenting, the molded in dock lights, but my favorite thing is probably this APS sidewall, which puts panels on both sides of the fencing to really give it a nice clean look all the way around. One of the most important things on any pontoon boat is the furniture on board, and that goes double for a boat called the Vogue. You better have nice and comfortable seating. And with the Sport Edition, we've got these great big high backrests that wrap right around this bow to really seal it in, make it a nice and cozy feel, almost like you're sitting in your living room. Now, this is how a pontoon boat is supposed to feel. With the active trim, I just hit the throttle and it levels out so quickly. There's almost no bow rise whatsoever when you're planning with this boat. The performance configuration is so smooth. The third log for that stability, you've got the underdeck spray shield, the lifting strakes. And this is like riding around in a VIP lounge. It also gives you hydraulic steering and allows you to up your power to a nasty 450 horsepower engine, which honestly might not be necessary because the 300 on our test model had me loving life. If you're bringing 11 people on board a pontoon boat like this, it goes without saying that you need tons of storage. And in every one of these benches up front, including this removable middle seat, it's roto molded storage with a sunken lip to keep your gear nice and dry in the backrest, we've got storage right to the floor on the port side and an integrated garbage can to starboard. The middle seat at the bow comes right out to open up some space or give access to one of three entry points on the boat. The beautiful black pearl snack table is wider for 2021, but it folds down to take up less space, and it too can be taken out and moved to the stern for the perfect little dinette layout. The helm on this Vogue 25 RL is as close to that of a car as I've ever seen on a boat. From the shape of the dash, this nice raised foot platform, right to this super comfy captain's seat. This is a really ergonomic layout. This year they've gone with dual flush mount LCD screens built right into the dash. So instead of our typical gauges, we've got the Mercury vessel view just in front of the wheel. And on the right is a second bigger Simrad screen. And what they've done with that is tilted it as much as they can towards the driver to really cut down on glare and also just make it a little bit easier, more ergonomic to look at while you're underway. Rounding out the features on the dash are a USB and auxiliary port, cell phone holder with wireless charging, and light up LED push button switches for systems and accessories. And inside the console is a large storage compartment accessed through a side door. Now the performance configuration isn't just about speed and handling, it's also about practicality. So with that, you also get a massive 49 gallon gas tank and this giant in-floor storage compartment, all thanks to that third log running up the middle. The RL in Vogue 25 RL comes from the rear lounger, but like everything else on the Vogue, it's really taken up a notch on this boat. It can be configured in a bunch of different ways. Backrest aft for a forward-facing seat, forward for an aft-facing seat, all the way down for a full-size daybed, plus there are two backrests that pop up to add a couple more options. And inside that lounger are three separate compartments. At the stern, a self-draining cooler and battery access, in the middle, a privacy enclosure that can be optioned with a head. And forward is another huge storage compartment. Sealing it all in is a stainless steel railing that folds down or pops back up to give you a bit of added safety while running. And it adds a beautiful aesthetic next to the stainless steel tow bar and reboarding ladder on the giant swim platform. And even at speed, I can pinch this thing on its side and it is so stable. Perfectly level all through the turns. 
This is a really impressive ride. I don't know if pontoons were ever supposed to go this fast, but I sure am glad they do. This thing rips. Pull out and we are cruising and there's 50 miles an hour top speed. Woo! <laughs> what a fun boat to drive. And almost just as much fun to look at. The Vogue 25 RL ain't going out of style anytime soon.